Cancer, how are you guys? I'm Weechie Tiff. I'm going to bring you a reading for the week ahead. See what you and your person got going on. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you have shown my channel. If it resonates, please hit that subscription bell. Hit that notification bell so you know when all of my future readings come out. If you would like to book a personal reading or send a donation to the channel, all my information will be in the description box, okay? This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So if it doesn't resonate, check other placements in your birth chart. This will not resonate for everybody else. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't, all right? Now, in the beginning, we're going to do just a general energy for you, Cancer. For the week ahead, it could pertain to anything, okay? Then we'll get right into the love reading, all right? Overall energy for my Cancer spirit, ancestors, and guys. Over Thank you. Patient. Ooh. And loneliness at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, this has been going on in your readings for a while, Cancer. You've been patiently waiting on somebody, okay? You've been having faith in your soul tribe that whatever you've been waiting on is happening in divine timing, okay? But even if you've been patiently waiting, you know, and having faith, it still doesn't mean that you haven't been lonely on this journey, okay? But Spirit is telling you that you are never alone, okay? They always have your back. Through everything that you're going through, they're watching you, okay? You are their baby. And they are making sure that everything is working out for you perfectly. And your patience is going to pay off, okay, Cancer? Your patience is definitely going to work out. Pay off, you know? See, if you believe this situation will will improve. And I think that's what, like I just said, you know, you've been, you've been obeying spirit, okay? You've been patiently waiting. You have had complete faith that whatever you've been waiting for is going to come together, okay? And spirit is saying, yes, yes, it is. This situation is about to improve. I promise it is. But you got to keep the faith, okay? Keep being patient and don't get into this lonely state state like you're alone okay because you're not this is a deck i'm coming out within a couple of months i'm trying to get my design right we'll get a couple of messages let's see how's cancer feeling right now spirit what's cancer going through right now spirit what is my beautiful cancer is going through right now spirit kids with cancer i know that's that's not everybody out here because i know i don't want no damn baby but i want to put a baby in you somebody either wants to have kids with you sees you as abundant wants to have a family with you or you're hoping to have kids with somebody else there is somebody that you see a future with okay let's see let's get one more for cancer's energy Thank you. You're breathtaking. So you're absolutely stunning. You're gorgeous. You've probably glowed up. You're doing really, really well in life. You're working on yourself. You're keeping your appearance up, you know. Um, shit, and your person is noticing that. Let's see about your person over here. What's this person got going on? What does Cancer's person got going on? Spirit, ancestors, and guys. Can I get a couple for the Cancer's person? Thank you. Wow. So this person is very, very prideful that you're dealing with. They might think they're the shit, you know, um, really always think, you know, always the, the flashy one got to be seen. Um, yeah, they, this person really, really thinks they are the shit. Okay. And I feel like this person might be addicted to, uh, this is my addiction cost us our connection. So this person could be on drugs. Okay. This isn't everybody. Um, they, they could have drug, alcohol, and sexual addictions. For some reason, I'm feeling like maybe they have some sexual addictions where, you know, in order to feed their ego, they have to have multiple partners. I don't know. We'll see when tarot comes out, okay? But this person is definitely very sexually attracted to you. They want to come in. They want to, um, uh, make it blow like Yellowstone. <laughs> Did I say that right? I want you to melt in my mouth. Ooh, they want to do some things to you. Let's get a couple more for cancer over here, spirit. So you could be stalking this person, okay? You could be what? Oh my gosh, how creepy. 
how to stalker ish and i i checked your social media i can't help it come out together cancer what the hell are you doing you watching this person you trying to see what they got going on you can't help it they that damn fine mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You watching this person, watching them hard. Now, if you're not watching them, Cancer, then they're definitely watching you heavily. Very, very heavily. Let's see their, this person over here, Cancer. Let's get a couple. We'll move into the tarot, okay? Cancer's person, spirit. Cancer's person, spirit. Ancestors and guides. Cancer's person. Thank you. Unblock me. So how are you watching them? So is this person watching you on social media? How are you watching them if you got them blocked? Is that why they're watching you on social media? It's because you done blocked this person? Because they had too much shit going on, Cancer? Um, they weren't ready. Some Under someone needs an ego check, they weren't ready, man. They might have had too much pride, too much ego to actually be in a relationship or think they were a player and weren't ready for commitment, okay? I feel like this person might have been a player energy. They just quite weren't ready, right? Oh, my gosh. So, right next to, look, this is so crazy. We have, I never hurt you, and it wasn't my intention to hurt you. So, this person hurt you in some way, Cancer. They did, okay? And it was, even though that they hurt you, they probably told you, I'd never hurt you. I would never put you in that situation. And then they did, okay? And when they did, it's like they were just being what they've always been, which is this player energy. And they didn't realize how much it would affect them and you until they did it. And once they did it, now they're like, what the fuck, right? And now you're like, no, I'm letting go. I'm letting go. I'm not going to deal with this shit. And they're like, man, it was never my intention to hurt this person. What the fuck did I do? Look, I see you when I sleep. They're dreaming about you. You're constantly on their mind. They might have went towards another person. Karmic is a bitch, right? And now they have to make a decision. Now they, all they do is think about you. I loved you before I knew you and every single lifetime right next to each other. Yeah, you guys have known each other in previous lives. You guys have been together. This person loved you before they even met you in this lifetime. Why? Because you guys have been together in every single lifetime. And right under that is, I don't want to be a player no more. Spirit come through. What did I just say? This person has always been a player. They didn't know how to commit. They didn't realize how bad they were hurting people until they hurt their divine counterpart. Wow. Let's get a couple of these. These old. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, you are giving so much, so much to this person with that unrequited love, right? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this this relationship going. You were giving 100% and this person was not giving. They were not giving into this situation. So you stopped giving. You said, okay, I can give and give and give. But until but you, if you're not going to give in return, then guess what? We'll just let this go. I can't keep holding on to something. If you don't feel that way about me, then I'm just going to keep it moving, right? Let's get one for your person. Cancer's person, spirit. Thank you. You want me to take this as cancer? Okay. It popped out on your side. Spirit wants me to take it on your side. Yeah, you were enjoying, you know, it was like a honeymoon period. You guys really enjoyed the time together. It was wonderful, right? You might have went out together, traveled together, you know, just did things that you've never done with other people before. I feel like sat out and actually like the cliche type shit, like watch the sunset, you know, sat out under the moon. But you gave and gave and I feel like this person never really reciprocated. As much as this person loved you, I feel like they could never tell you. They could never tell you. Why? Because they were in this player energy. They're not used to feeling that. But let's see about your person over here, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Cancer's person over here, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Let's get a couple for a cancer person. Oh my gosh, free yourself and soulmate, okay? This person I feel like is trying to free themselves from this player energy that they have been in for, for quite a while, right? And why are they trying to release this that energy off of them? Because they have found their soulmate, okay? 
Once you find your, your divine counterpart, there's no replacing that, okay? You feel that loss forever. So no matter how much and fun this player life is for this person, it's not fulfilling anymore. Why? Because now they feel like part of them is gone. They've lost their soulmate. And they're trying to free themselves from this player energy. Yep. And give this relationship a chance. Work on this partnership with you. Because they know that this is a true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. There's no getting this back. There's no getting this back. Let's see. Let's get a couple for your energy. We'll get a couple for their energy. And then we'll wrap this on up. Okay, Cancer. Let's see. Your energy. Your energy, Cancer. Do I got these the right way? Yep. We want to make sure I didn't have them in reverse. Let's see. Oh, look. Once again, you could have kids with this person, okay? But if not, you're in Empress mode, boo. Okay? You're you're on your shit. Everything you touch is turning to gold. Like, you got the Midas touch right now, right? You are flourishing. You're glowing up. You're looking great. You're sh everything, man. But you're just lonely, right? You're just lonely. And you just patiently waited on this person to come around and get their shit together. And this person's noticing that. This person's like, damn, look at cancer over there, man. They're not falling off. After all I did, cancer's still blowing up and doing better and better and better. Like, what the hell? It's not like they want you to do bad. It's just like, they're like, wow. It's really making them love you even more. No? Okay. Here, give me one or two, okay? I'm not going to take five. This person was juggling, right? This person was juggling. They could never find any balance. There was never any balance in this connection, right? It was always like you were like a constant back and forth, right? The tails, the scales were constantly tip. And you just wanted to find balance amongst your life, amongst this connection. And instead, you went on ahead. You started, look, the four of wands at the bottom. This is definitely your soul, soulmate. But then you decided just to, you know what, I'm going to focus on my money. I'm going to focus on myself. You know, I can't keep focusing on this person. They got to learn these lessons on their own. I can't control this. All I can do is patiently wait. Why? Because you wanted peace, okay? This is once again finding balance, finding peace within yourself. I feel like what this person did for you, Cancer, is that they, they showed you Self-love. They taught you self-love. They taught you how to work on yourself and be happy alone. Yes, do you get lonely? Yes. But at the end of the day, do you feel like you need somebody? No. No. Okay? Let's see about your person over here, Cancer. Yeah, see, they were full of shit. They were doing some sneaky shit behind your back. They were always had something up their sleeves, right? There was always something going on with this person. This person might not have a lot of ambition, you know, just chasing hoes all day. See, but now this person's ready to take a stand and do what's right for themselves in their life, okay? They're ready to, all these people, these whole, you know, whatever this is that's daily coming at them, I feel like they're going to start pushing these people off, you know, like left and right, like stiff arming the hell out of hoes or do, or, you know, dudes or, you know, however it goes. Gender doesn't matter, but this is what's going to happen. They're going to start like, shoot, no, 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 uh, 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 type shit. Like, no, 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 no. Get the hell away from me. Ew, get away from me. I'm cancers. You know, they're going to do what's right because they know that committing to you is what's best for them. They're going to start blocking all them other people out. Like, fuck no. I never do nothing to hurt cancer again. Right? Because they're having a tower moment in their life. These secrets that they were keeping, the shit that was going on, now it's nothing but bad karma. Everything in their life is blowing the fuck up in front of them. Nothing is going right. Seems like every time they get two, two you know, steps ahead, they take five back. Why? Because, look, they were a divine and they wouldn't wear their crown. They wouldn't put on their crown. Mm, that's deep. Let's get a couple more for the cancer, loves. Let's get one for the cancer. Yeah, this person had fucking secrets. A lot of them. Okay? But the secrets are out. The secrets are coming out. And it left you feeling backstabbed. Ooh, yeah, you were hurt. You were like, I'm done. I'm done. But now, look. The divine worked on this person, okay? This person had to do a lot of contemplating. A lot of soul searching, okay? 
they had to completely disconnect from the world to realize that the divine was offering them something very, very sacred. So now what they, they're they planning on doing is coming towards you and saying, Cancer, I want victory with you. I want to make this work. I want to do whatever it takes to, to make this be like it was in the beginning. Let's see about your person over here, Cancer. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Look, divine timing. You knew that divine timing was working out, right? You knew that spirit was making everything happen the way it was supposed to. You always had faith in this. Divine timing showed you the sneaky shit this person had going on. Divine timing taught this person some lessons. And now divine timing is bringing this person back into your life if you are separated, okay? And they're not going to be on that bullshit they were anymore, right? You know, they, they waited. They kind of just waited. You know, you they seen that you waited. You waited. You waited. You you were waiting for something to change. They see what a good person that they lost. Like, damn, like, what did I do, right? And now look it. You're their wish fulfillment. You're all that they want. You're all, it makes me want to cry. Like, I feel the emotions so deeply. Like, they love you that hard. They know they messed up that bad. And now... Their only sole wish is to have you in their lives. You, you are what they want. There's no denying that. Because right now there's nothing but burden in their life. Over and over, tower moment after tower moment is going on for this person. Oh my gosh, spirit come through. Look, that's packing up. That's transitioning, right? Leaving something behind and moving on, right? I think this is you guys. This is emotional. This is uh, mutual energy, okay? This person, this is you guys transitioning into a higher level of commitment. You guys are going to move on and leave the past behind. And something amazing is going to come of this, okay? Because you know what you did? You obeyed. As much as you wanted this person right now, right now, you let you let divine timing work out. You you knew this person had some shit that they still had to learn. You obey. And now spirit is about to bless you, Cancer. You're about to be very, very blessed. Okay? All right, guys. If it resonated, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, I love you guys. Peace.